In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the BitGet spot market. If you're still relatively new to BitGet, I do have a BitGet full length step by step beginner tutorial. And I'll be sure to leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Make sure to hit subscribe and tick the bell for future content and don't forget to leave me a like. Let's get into the video. To set up a spot market trailing stop loss, we'll first have to navigate into the spot market. Of course, to do that, we'll come right up here where it says trade. Then we'll select spot up at the top. Next, we need to choose the coin that we want to set up a trailing stop loss for. To do that, we'll come right up here, top left hand side and we'll hover over the pairing. So in my case where it says BTC USDT. Then you'll get this drop down with all your different market types up above and all your pairings displayed down below. You can see in my case, I'm set to USDT. So this means all these pairings down below are quoted in Tether. So if I set up a trailing stop loss using these pairings, I'll be receiving Tether when my stop loss gets hit. If you're to click here on USDC, this means all the pairings are now quoted in USDC so if your trailing stop loss gets hit using these pairings, you'll receive USDC for the sale of your coin. So we'll start out by choosing our market type. I'll go ahead and select Tether. Next, choose the coin that you want to set up a trailing stop loss for. I'll go ahead and set up a trailing stop loss for Ethereum. Once you've chosen your market type and pairing, you'll need to come over here to the order panel, click on sell, then hover over this little triangle right here and select trailing stop from the drop down menu. At the top of the order panel, you'll see a box that says trigger price. This gives you the option to choose a trigger price that activates your trailing stop loss. If you leave this box empty, BitGet is going to activate your trailing stop immediately at the market price. So for this demonstration, I'll leave this box empty. Next, we'll need to choose our callback rate. This is going to be the distance that the trailing stop loss follows behind price action. You can type in a custom amount, so I could do a 2% callback rate. I could do a 5% callback rate. And alternatively, you can use this little slider bar down below to choose your callback rate. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and choose a 4% callback rate. So in my case here, the stop loss will be following behind price action by 4%. Next, we have the option to choose if this is going to be a trailing stop limit or a trailing market order. Trailing stop market is likely going to get the job done for most traders. So I'll demonstrate with that. So we're going to click here where it says limit. And now we've toggled this over to market. So in the future, if this trailing stop loss gets hit, the coins are simply going to sell immediately for the best available price off of the order book. Now it's time to choose the amount of the asset that you wish to sell when your trailing stop loss gets hit. And you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So you'll know exactly what you're working with. So for this demonstration, I'll put all of my available Ethereum into this trailing stop loss. So I'll come up to this box right here and I'll type that in. We'll go not point not three one. Once you have your trailing stop loss set up the way that you want it, come down here and click on sell. Then you'll get an order confirmation pop-up window so you can confirm the details are what you intended. If everything is what you intended, you just simply come down here and click on confirm. Now I've placed that trailing stop loss. So as the price of Ethereum continues to move to the upside, my trailing stop loss is going to be following behind price action by 4%. When Ethereum pulls back by 4%, it's going to hit that trailing stop loss and I'll be selling all of my Ethereum at the best available price off of the order book. If Ethereum was to start dumping from here by 4%, this trailing stop loss is active, so it's going to hit and be selling my Ethereum. Of course, the purpose of the trailing stop loss is to try to lock in as much profit to the upside as possible. So in this particular situation, I would like Ethereum to continue to the upside, but at least I have a little bit of protection down here if Ethereum was to choose to dump. You can find the details of your trailing stop loss if you come down here and click on open orders. Then come over here and click on trailing stop. And here's where you'll find the details of your trailing stop loss. And right over here, you can see that this trailing stop loss is active and in progress. If at any point you want to cancel your trailing stop loss, just come over here and click on cancel. And as you can see, I just canceled that trailing stop loss. Now I'll show you how you can set up a trailing stop loss with a trigger price. So to get this done, we'll come back up to the order panel. We'll click on sell 
And if you're not already set to trailing stop, just hover over this little arrow right here and select it in the drop down menu. Now let's go ahead and choose a trigger price. This is going to be the price point that activates the trailing stop loss to begin to follow behind price action. So let's go ahead and head over here to the chart. And just for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I want to set a trigger price right above these wicks right here. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools, just like so. And I'll go ahead and mark an area on the chart right at the top of these wicks, something like this. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 2,132. And let's imagine that I want to use that price point as my trigger price. So we'll come back over here to the order panel and I'll type that into trigger price. We'll go 2,132. So if the price of Ethereum hits 2,132, that's going to activate this trailing stop loss. But the stop loss will not be activated until Ethereum hits this price point. So now I need to choose my callback rate in this box here, and I'll just leave this at 4% again. Next, we'll come down here, make sure that this is set to market. Then we'll choose the amount of the asset that we wish to put into this trailing stop loss. Once again, you'll see your available balance down here. So you know exactly what you're working with. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and put all of my Ethereum into this trailing stop loss. Once you have your order set up the way that you want it, just come down here and click on sell. Then you'll get your order confirmation pop-up window where you can confirm the details of your trailing stop. And this time you can see that the trigger price has been set to 2,132. So if everything is what you intended, you'd come down here and click on confirm. Now I've placed that trailing stop trigger order. So if the price of Ethereum continues to the upside and hits my price point of 2,132, that is going to activate the trailing stop loss to begin to follow behind price action. So as the price of Ethereum increases from that level, the trailing stop loss will begin to follow behind price action by 4%. In the future, when Ethereum rolls over by 4%, it's going to hit that trailing stop loss and sell my Ethereum. But keep in mind, when you select a trigger price, your trailing stop loss won't be activated until it hits that trigger price. So if Ethereum decided to roll over right here, right now, my trailing stop loss wouldn't be activated and I wouldn't have any protection to the downside. So a basic consideration when choosing if you'd like to add a trigger price to your trailing stop loss. You'll be able to find the details of that trailing stop trigger order if you come down here, click on open orders, then come over here, click on trailing stop, and here's where you'll find the details of your trailing stop trigger order. And of course, you can see the status this time is pending because I'm waiting for the price of Ethereum to hit 2,132 before it activates this trailing stop loss. If at any point you'd like to edit or cancel it, you can come over here. You can click on edit to edit your trailing stop loss, or if you'd like to just simply cancel it, click right here on cancel. Now, as you can see, I just canceled that trailing stop trigger order. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing stop loss on the BitGet spot market. Don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other BitGet tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.